Today, uh, welcome back to Chase's Chapel, and um, it's a yearly uh, base. We do have a special uh, chapel about Hallelujah Day. It used to be called many uh, different titles, like Holy Night Day or Transforming Day, you know. But the uh, U.S. context, especially the, uh, the uh, church context, Christian context, uh, we encourage all students and teenager, younger students to learn about uh, Christian cultures in Christ, about um, Hallelujah, especially the uh, Halloween day. I used to preach about uh, Halloween day many, many uh, times and years. So if you are interested, you could uh, go to our school YouTube channel and watch it, uh, my sermon. Uh, of course, it's uh, every year different uh, inspiration God give us and we could share what God uh, spoke to us based on the, the his you know, words today uh, I'll just gonna select a new uh, title it is called cultural diversity in Christ cultural diversity in Christ since we went to uh, East Coast US trip uh, college trip and we especially me, as I learned many, many uh, the things about cultures. We hop on the uh, subway in New York. Wow, so many different types of people, even colors and hairstyles. Uh, many, many, uh, you know, the unique, their, uh, what's called a dress code, many, many, you know, very uh, special uh, pictures we uh, observed and saw that. So. Uh, since uh, that experience, I'd like to talk about uh, our school, the uh, East Coast uh, Ivy League vision trip a little bit later. And you're going to watch a video. Uh, uh, Mr. Jim has spent a lot of time to make the work on uh, editing this video. It's an amazing job. Uh, so we really appreciate what he has done for us. About 22 or 23 minutes, we're going to watch the video later, okay? So uh, first chapter, I mean, I'd like to read uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And verse 12. One verse, normally I select one verse uh, for uh, audience uh, to read together and to think about what God spoke to us uh, through this message, especially you know, select a uh, Bible verse. Just as a body, just as the body, though one has many parts, but all its many parts, parts form one body, so it is with Christ. Let me read one more time. Just as, just as a body, though one has many parts, but all its many parts from one body, so it is with Christ. I'd like to focus on this keyword. Though one, many, though one has many parts, but here, one body, from one body. God created you and I and he had a, this plan many, many years ago, before you were born, before I was born. Your mom and your dad too. Very interesting. Even he knows our name, he knows our gender, he knows our callings and all the plans he had. However, since we living on this planet, which is the earth, everyone has different callings and different styles because God created you and I as not the one same kind of format. He created you as uh, his image, which is a very different types, very unique uh, styles. Today, when I uh, came to the school, you know, I, I was driving awesome school bus, uh, magic school bus, and I saw the uh, lot of beautiful trees. Have you ever kind of thought that, wow, it's like fall, season, that's beautiful. Especially the trees and sky and no pollution. Uh, maybe I'm getting older. When I was your age, nothing special. Like when I look at the sky, then, okay, today's sun. Especially California, every day it's like sunshine and too good and weather is good. But Cal you know, Korea, four seasons. It's like spring, summer, fall, winter. It's very unique season we do have. You may not know compared to maybe a dry, hot country or, or maybe on some cold country. Like, you know, winter, all the times of winter. But Korea, 
we do have four seasons and every year every season we could enjoy sports we could enjoy the food seasonal food like summertime i love a great you know winter time the tangerine which is the cure wow it's amazing food you know seasonal food we do have enjoy and here the another beautiful picture of this one uh, we can enjoy wednesday thank you and wow we're about to finish up this year have you ever said that it's like year 2023 only about two months left november and december and i will be um 18 years old next year so i'm really excited so forever 21 by the way yeah so you know this is this, this season is about to say thank you because we have done a lot of things and god has done a lot of things for you and i so every season is really unique and it is diverse it is a diverse diversity uh, the weather in diversity or seasons in diversity and what god created us um september 22nd and october 3rd 2023 a bunch of about group about almost 30 people including staff members exact numbers of 28 uh, we uh, flew to from Incheon to San Francisco and transferred to uh, New York and Boston to cities major cities we went let me give you some show you the uh, some pictures many many schools we visited it's all schools are pretty good you know awesome and well-known reputable it is called Ivy League and top 20 30 or schools rankings you know good numbers well, um, I, I shared about this experience. I didn't go to Ivy League. I didn't go to like really reputable schools in my life. But the, we don't emphasize on the names or rankings to all students. We visited maybe good schools. Maybe people said it's good, reputable school because at least we visit and learn about what is good for us and come back with certain vision or plans to change my life it is going to transfer from A to B which is the good to great the student great student is motivated passionate more willing engaged by students himself or herself not driven by the parents not driven by your friends or teachers it's driven, driven by yourself of, co of course the god is calling based on that so with this college vision uh, the trip then all students come back here and we at least expecting it is called transformation thinking lifestyle and motivate and influence right next person that is the main core value or purpose of all student life programs particularly college vision trip we're thinking about uh, pr uh, the planning about another vision trip 2025 so uh, we've been praying for this one and you know financial part absolutely and even time the period the length absolutely it is crucial for you know everyone here so the first school we visited uh, we went to is it is called Yale um, Yale University is one of my favorite schools too and uh, this is the uh, Yale we just stopped by it was rainy and and we um, we visited actually the uh, library actually as a really gorgeous library and then it's more than 100 years old and one person they donated a certain money and they build up with a certain and the purpose and the philosophy and we visited also the um, the, it is called Trinity uh, Church. It, it located in the Boston. It's gorgeous, you know, like beautiful uh, structure, and like it looks like the um, let's say European um, like church, like maybe not Catholic, but it is called Episcopal Songgonghae. The denomination is a Protestant church. It's really antique, and I feel like oh, I feel like. I'm holy like you know if you just be there and then you can feel like you know you have to pray and uh, it's a worship the Lord together and the picture inside after the service we had uh, we took a picture and this is the uh, the public uh, library in Boston and many of uh, the people that visited here and stay and study actually too 
and it's really a kind of cozy atmosphere and open for everyone. Boston is a really safe place and we enjoy actually walking on the street, downtown area, good food and good air. I love it actually. So um, this is a good location we had. And Tufts here. Uh, Tufts is located in the, uh, the Boston too. Um, it's private school and they used to be a Christian school. I don't know right now, but um, it's pretty private, small, very prestige. Uh, we, we, we had a uh, meeting with the, uh, one of the uh, um, admission uh, directors. Um, she talked about how to uh, apply to Tufts and we, how we select, evaluate student applications. It's like same, like what I, I share, what we I share with you guys. It should talk about, you know, holistic education, which is the study, and plus, you know, life story, and your more leadership part too. But she focused on this part. It is called supplementary essay. Uh, there are about two types of college essay, but one is a major essay. The second one is their own essay. They're about their school philosophy and leadership and how they uh, select um, the, the students based on their you know, education philosophy. She really emphasized on, you gotta focus on working on and writing essay based on student life experiences and your college, I mean, high school life experiences. So a lot of students really pay attention. Very interesting. When, I, when we uh, talk about almost same college, you know, the preparation information or all the preparation stuff, almost same. But they really, really are serious when they are, you know, be there and they more, more focus on you know, the college, or the directors, the audition directors, they are all the single word, every single word, they would pay attention, listen carefully, and put more, you know, like their passion, you know, on the, while listening their information lectures. And now after that, we uh, had a campus tour, and as the next school is Harvard, uh, we went here. Uh, it was a rainy day, it was a cloudy day, it was beautiful uh, campus. And this is the uh, Harvard Diverse, uh, Divinity School, which is the uh, school of the theology, the Shinakyo, Shinakwa. Um, so I came from actually the school of theology. So I, I really like the Harvard, but um, you know, today is uh, their more theological perspectives, pre, uh, let's say liberal it is called, which means uh, you know, according to some scholars that uh, it is hard to acknowledge you know, God and Jesus based on what the Bible mentioned. That's a really sad uh, story, but at least, you know, they do have a good uh, program and then theological uh, system, which is the teaching, the, you know, educational you know, system. Um, the John Harvard is a statue, and uh, touching the, his left, you know, the fit, then um, the person will get accepted at uh, Harvard. Yeah, the, all students, so we, we, we touch the, uh, you know, the statue, and then we left. And next school is MIT. And the campus is beautiful, and right next to the river, and a really good you know, campus. And you're gonna listen to um, some students interview later. Um, next school is Boston uh, the University. It's pretty, you know, uh, let's say um, city school, uh, you know, downtown area, like, you know, pretty big scale, and, but all those, you know, compact, which is all, everything is compact. I remember her name is Samantha. Uh, she came from Utah. where well, she told us that, you know, I came from extremely small school in Utah. And then she talked about the size of the school, 80. So 80, the entire school size is 80. And, you know, small town, small little school. But I enjoy the you know, bigger city and bigger you know, school. And uh, she, was, she can talk about her life, especially the more diverse experiences uh, especially school life and her education, high school life, uh, she shared with us. It's really meaningful, really um, impressing, actually, uh, her um, you know, time with us. And this is our orientation time. Uh, we, we, we had a, a orientation. Ms. Joyce had an incredible and you know, outstanding uh, leadership and also preparation for this trip. We really, really appreciate uh, um, what she has done. So thank you, by the way. Uh, so she drove. She drove and also she, uh, you know, uh, prepare even the what's called uh, you know, uh, navigate us uh, to the uh, arrive the right spot on time. And sometimes we had to use the Ubers, which is a taxi. Wow, so expensive, by the way. So um, anyway, so this is the uh, Boston University campus tour and Berkeley, uh, Berkeley College of Music is a small, um, 
you know, private uh, music school in, located in Boston. Uh, we, we contact actually Claire and then, uh, you know, ask her to, um, you know, prepare some you know, campus tour. She provided and a lot of information. We visited actually even the inside, a small you know, campus, but uh, it was really a very, let's say, good impression about what they do and especially teach them uh, about the music uh, the, in the, uh, especially, you know, Boston. And as a good picture we had, and this school is a Columbia University in the, uh, New York. It's very, um, let's say, antique, um, let's say Greek, maybe style the campus. And the located, location is what? New York. And uh, this, they used to be called as a, it is called Colonial College in the uh, long time. The British, you know, the colony, the period time, it was the, the school that they established to raise the leaders. But, you know, today, as one of the uh, Ivy Leagues, um, they became, and this is the, uh, the, ma the mascot, which is the mascot too, it's a lion. Uh, we, we took a picture um, here too. And uh, for them, the uh, university. And um, uh, Ms. Joy's cousin uh, studying here, uh, she uh, provided information about, huh? Niece. Niece, I'm sorry, niece, I'm sorry, niece. So uh, it was a really good school too. Um, it's like they do have two uh, different uh, campus, campuses actually. So one of the campuses is located in New York that we uh, visited here too. And uh, NYU. NYU, uh, ca can you see the, who is it, um, Keller? Yeah, so uh, you know, he uh, took us the uh, campus tour, but it's a very interesting location. That it is hard to kind of figure out or acknowledge the campus actually. All the, you know, the city, right. it's a city and there's no boundary. Are we just walking, okay, this campus, or just flat, by the flat, we can just recognize, all right, this is school. Very unique style, actually, the uh, campus they do have. This is a cruise, actually. Um, uh, New York, uh, the cruise we had, and here, oh, oh celebrity over here. Yeah, campus. And next one is uh, the three brothers, and here is, we took the videos. And the Statue of Liberty. And who is that? The uh, James and uh, David. There's some pictures we had we took the two. And uh, so this is the uh, Times Square. Uh, I love New York. Uh, I'm kind of now getting more country country boy. Ah, too crowded. Ah, like, looks like home day. Yeah. Maybe more than home day. Yeah. Maybe maybe more than Myeongdong. Yeah. Ah, it's like I, I kind of. Yeah, so I, I enjoy, but not much, not much. But a lot of kids really love it. So a lot of different people, types of people, they uh, just hanging out, you know, looking at. Guess what? This the uh, the what's called neo sign here. You pay woman sign each advertising, advertisement, right? Jungkook, Jungkook video, and also the the black pink. What is her name? So, Jenny. Uh, Jenny's picture. This is uh, hang on the other. Uh, um, that's a Times Square. It's like, wow, it's amazing. Like, let's say K-pop phenomena. We have seen that these days. Seriously, like, when I like, when I was in the states about more than twenty years ago, it, it is hard to imagine like Asian boys singing and you know different all the different races you know watching uh, the they really like the their performance. It's really hard to uh, kind of imagine. But today, it's a quite different. Uh, you know, sensation, we have seen that, which is uh, really globalized. We're living right now, as experience right now. And this is another, the picture of the uh, Times Square. And this is last school, which is FIT. Uh, it's a fashion, uh, huh? Yeah, FIT, yeah, it's a location, it's the uh, New York. And uh, we visited, uh, what's called uh, uh, the museum, of what they've established. Let's watch video.